Families are starting to think about summer vacations, and Consumer Reports found out which cards stretch your budget. In some cases, you can find free airfare. Troubleshooter Kristen Severance reports. If you're dreaming of a vacation, the right travel card can help get you there. But which give the best award travel and great travel deals? We did some digging. You can choose either an airline card or a bank card. Which type is best for you depends on what kind of traveler you are. Choose an airline card if you travel a lot on one particular airline. Airline cards are also good if you want a free trip fast. While they're not usually as generous with rewards as bank cards, you can sometimes score a bonus as high as 50,000 points when you sign up. Some good airline cards are Delta Sky Miles American Express Gold, Southwest Rapid Rewards Premier Visa, and the U.S. Airways Dividend Miles Premier World MasterCard. For every dollar spent with airline, you get two miles or two points. If you don't fly a particular airline, a bank card is the way to go. They let you earn rewards on the purchases you make, then use them to buy tickets on any airline. Consumer Reports says another plus, bank cards are not subject to blackout dates and points don't generally expire. Some good bank cards, the American Express Premier Rewards Gold, the Chase Sapphire Preferred Visa or MasterCard, and the PenFed Premium Travel Rewards American Express. A real benefit with all three, there's no annual fee the first year. Choose a travel card wisely and a great vacation could well be within your reach. Now, if you're a member of several frequent flyer programs, Consumer Reports says you're probably better off with one of the high-end American Express bank cards, like the Amex Premier Rewards Gold. That's because those cards let you transfer earned points to a number of airlines. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance.